Hello everyone, welcome to Tai'an Dongtai. Today we are going to introduce you our EUS 2000L computer model EUI EUP test bench. This test bench can test EUI and EUP. Next, please follow me to learn more details. This is the system for this test bench. It can test EUI and EUP. These are all the brands we can test, such as Bosch, Caterpillar, Cummings, Delphi, Detroit, Nanyue, Scania, Siemens, and Wheat. As you can see, we have 681 items in our database. And uh, when you test, you can choose the correct model and press continue to test all the information, such as rotator speed, angle, inductance, resistance, and times. Also, after the test, we can print the test report so you can save all your test report for check. Next, please learn more details about the machine. This is the power switch. This is emergency stop. Fuel pump open and stop button. Power indicator. Pressure gauge. These are the connectors. This is for injector, for cam. This is fuel pressure regulator. This is fuel oil supply. fuel oil recovery. This one is for oil spray. As you can see, this is our new model cam box. We have two model cam box. Please follow. This is our new model cam box. These are the adapters, collectors, and pushing rod. This is another model of our cam box. Adapters and connectors and pushing rod. The special point for our cam box is that we have double solenoid wall. As you can see, this is for this injector is Cummings M11 injector. We also have we also have the cables for Volvo four pin injector. We have two separate solenoid valve. This is E1. This is glass tube. We have two ways to check the oil quantity. This one is through flow sensor. You can check the oil quantity in our system. This one is through the glass tube. You can check the oil quantity through this glass tube. 
and use this button to adjust the glass tube. This is pressure regulator to adjust the pressure. These are filters, solenoid valve, flow sensor. This is the control unit of the computer. This is the motor. You can check it is 11 kilowatt. This is the supply motor for oil. It is frequency converter. These are all our cable connections. Now our engineer will show you how to test Cummings M11 injector. Choose the right injector number. You can check the test procedure, warm up, max torque, max power, and idle.
Now we have finished the testing for Cummings M11 injector. You can see the test result. This is the test report. You can print the test report. Now our engineer will show you the test procedure of Delphi E1 injector. As you can see, this is another model of CAM box. This is our new model CAM box. These are the adapters, collectors, and the pushing rod. This is another model of our CAM box. Adapters and connectors and pushing rod. Connect the cable. Injector number one. Turn on the fuel pump stop. Adjust the pressure to 0 0.2 ampa. Choose the correct injector number. Continue. Now start test. Now the test is finished. You can check all the parameters on the test report. 
as you can see, we, we connect the printer, so you can print the test report. Next, our engineer will show you the test procedure of Caterpillar C15 injector. Connect the cables for the solenoid valve. This is our new model cam box. These are the adapters, collectors, and pushing rod. This is another model of our cam box. Adapters and connectors and pushing rod. Turn on the supply pump. Adjust the pressure to Z 0 0.2 ampere. Choose the correct number of injector. Continue. Start the test.
now the test is finished. You can check the test report here with all the parameters, and you can print by the printer. Next, our engineer will show you the test procedure of Delphi E3 4 pins injector for Volvo. It is our new model of cam box. We can also add BIP function on this cam box. And uh, it has two separate solenoid valves for this four pins injector. This is our new model cam box. These are the adapters, collectors, and the pushing rod. This is another model of our cam box. Adapters and connectors and pushing rod. Now we'll start the test. Open the fuel pump. Adjust the fuel pressure to 0.4 ampa. Choose the correct injector number. Start the test. As you can see, we have two drive vips to show the test result. Now the test is finished. You can check the test report here with all the data. You can also print the test report using the printer.